Let's go through a few more examples of solving equations with x on both sides. Remember, as always, our aim is to get x's alone over here and numbers alone over here. So, because we wanted to get x's alone over here, let's get rid of that 7. And, of course, balancing our equation means that we must do the same on the other side. 2 subtract 7 is negative 5. And so we have that picture. Now, remember, we're wanting to get rid of the x's on this side. So in order to get rid of the x's, we've got take away 9x, so we're going to add 9x. And if we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other side. And so what we'll get is 11x is equal to negative 5. And now it's very easy to complete. We just divide both sides by 11 and we get our answer negative 5 elevenths. For this one, we're aiming at exactly the same thing. X is on this side, numbers alone on that side. So we're going to start by getting rid of that 3 and balancing the equation. We must do it on the other side too. 1 subtract 3 is going to be negative 2. And so we've got negative 2x is equal to x minus 2. Remember, we want to get rid of the x's on this side. So we're going to subtract off this x. And we must do the same on this side to keep things balanced. And so we're going to get negative 3x, because negative 2x, subtract another x is negative 3x, is equal to negative 2. And now we just divide both sides by negative 3 to get x on its own. A negative over a negative is a positive, and so our answer is just x is two-thirds. Okay, a final example. Again, we want to get x's on its own over there and numbers on our own over there. So what we're going to do is get rid of the 17, balance the equation, and so what we're going to get, 7 minus 17 is minus 10. And now we want to get rid of the x's on this side, we're subtracting 3x, so in order to get rid of it, we must add 3x and, of course, balance the equation. Negative 10x plus 3x gets us to negative 7x, and here we've got it equal to negative 10. We want x on its own, so we need to divide this side by negative 7 and, of course, balance it, do the same to the other side. Negative over negative is positive, and so we've got x is equal to 10 over 7.